Okay, now this whole cover has to come off, otherwise I cannot access the components that I want to replace. Water pump is here behind the crankshaft V pulley. One more important note is you have to make sure that you close your seacock valve unless you want to flood your boat of course. In my case the seacock valve is located here in a battery compartment. Okay that's it. So here is the impeller kit from Yanmar that I purchased a couple of days ago. Uh, all original parts uh, here made in Japan. Uh, it contains the manual for the installation uh, then there's a gasket here which uh, you don't need to replace necessarily if the current gasket is in a good condition also it contains the impeller itself which you have to set up properly and uh, there's also the glycerin lubricant which uh, you don't necessarily need to use but it's highly recommended to uh, grease up the uh, the blades of the impeller to reduce the friction. This is how the gasket looks like it's pretty much worn out so i definitely have to replace this So one of the things you want to do is before you put the uh, impeller back you want to make sure that the cover is properly cleaned um, there's a lot of salt here and uh, some corrosion and also what is probably the mostly most troublesome is the remains of the old gasket that uh, that needs to be removed before the new one is uh, put back and um, so essentially you need a sandpa sandpaper i took a really really fine one I don't know what should be the the grain size but um, I think this is like a 600 or 500 I'm not sure uh, but I'm gonna try to polish this as much as possible to make it uh, to make it fit tight with uh, for the next uh, assembly <laughs> Now when the water is gushing in, I'm not even sure I need to do this, but regardless, I'm gonna apply this impeller lubricant a little bit on the tip of the of the blades just to make sure that it goes in back smoothly. Also when you clean you have to make sure that this contact surface is on the flange of the impeller also needs to be cleaned. Now let's try to put it back. Yeah, I think this is pretty much how it, it was before. <clears throat> you wanna make sure that the blades of the impeller are in the same direction as they were prior to the installation. Yeah, I put back the gasket together with a plate. Okay, 
this looks pretty much done now. The water stopped leaking as expected. guys enjoy this episode and please as always like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button for notifications about future contents thanks again and see you soon